Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is our weekly update of events, updates and brand new features that are happening within the Blender Foundation, Blender community and Blender as an app itself. And today we do have a truckload of updates, news and stuff that you guys would definitely find interesting. And we're going to start off with talking about Blender 2.83.5 being available right now. So if you're following the LTS, there is a huge set of news that you need to keep an eye for as Blender 2.83.5 is now available and this build comes with about 25 bug fixes on top of the nearly up to 100 bug fixes that has been within the previous releases to this particular update. And if you're working with Steam or let's say you're working with Snap, of course you can get these downloads and you can get this update on the fly. So all you have to do is just, you know, open up Steam, update that. And if you're working with Snap, which is for Linux users, you can also get this one going. So for the LTS release, there are a couple of things that you can actually come through and check out. So if you're thinking about, you know, what and what updates, what are the change logs, what are the release, bugs that has been fixed yep you can come through and see these ones for yourself and speaking about the things that has been fixed right now the lie is actually saying that 2.9 would be the baseline or the minimum guaranteed support version for blender going forward so if you're using older versions of blender let's say blender 2.82 and all that stuff you may likely want to update as right now he's saying that the 2.9 X series will coexist with Blender 2.83 LTS release for quite some time. This is to prevent users from losing data unannounced and you know this is also to bump up the minimum version. And what this means is that files that are being saved with 2.9, 2.91 when they are being opened with Blender 2.83 or older versions of Blender you will definitely get a warning and they are also trying to prevent this as they are you know refactoring and working on the entire data structure. And this brings us to something else that you also need to know so if you are one of those guys that were asking how can you get blender for you know 32 bit pcs um the thing is blender 2.80 was the last build for 32 bit windows users so if you're a window user and you're using 32 bit uh you need to definitely stick with blender 2.80 as that was the last build so build moving forward from 2.81 all the way to 2.9 and you know all the way is going to be for 64 bit so at this point you may want to switch gears or you might simply stick with 2.80 and of course i did get a couple of comments with persons asking which do we need to work with should we move over to 2.9 or stick with 2.83 and the thing is the guys at blender foundation are releasing updates for blender 2.83 and at the same time they would also proceed to release updates for blender 2.9 so what this means is when you're working with blender you'll be having two different blender files so this is just to clarify the fact that you know you might be wondering if you're working with blender 2.83 what if they release 2.9 will that automatically update especially for those working with steam you know snap and also the windows thingy how this works is you will definitely get the 2.83 updates once it comes out and when 2.9 comes out you're also going to get 2.9 so 2.9 is going to be available and the lts version is also going to start from 2.83 as it's going to proceed all the way to 2023 so these are things that you should also keep in mind if you're thinking of switching gears or switching softwares at this point so moving on from this something else that is also beautiful that you can actually play with right now is the outliner branch that is now available from Nathan Crackdock. Now Nathan is working with the Google Summer of Code and he has been working on the outliner for quite some time now. He has actually, you know, done some pretty cool stuff and I'm also going to go ahead and show you guys this thing. So some of the beautiful things that he has done, an auto scrolling feature within the outliner so you can easily, you know, click, drag and scroll all the way down to drop stuff. 
And on the other hand, you can now add collection colors. He has also added a modifier drag and drop for sorting and linking. And these are some very lovely stuff. So we're going to dive directly into Blender 2.91 Alpha, which seems to be the build that this will be coming into. And, you know, we'll go through and test it. So real quick, let's take a look at the Google Summer of Code 2020 Outliner update that is now coming over to Blender. So how you can get started with this is pretty simple. So for this example, let's say we have this cube. Let me make another copy of this cube right there. I will simply go through tap shift and a get susan the monkey all the way out tap g move her somewhere else and there we have it now with this here what you would notice is by default we have this outliner looking pretty different of course you'll not notice so much of the difference until we we'll start playing with it so one of the things that you can do is if you simply select this object and hit ctrl 3 for example to add the subdivision and you go all the way and maybe you add an array for example Let's say I set this array to about three, something like that. I can now copy my modifiers across the entire objects I have within my scene. And how you can do that is by simply clicking on the Suzanne dropdown, click on the modifier dropdown, and I can simply click on the subdivision and take this over to cube 001. And once I do that, you would notice that automatically we have copied the subdivision over there. We can still do the same thing for the array. So if I simply select this, now at this point, we're going to try this with the default cube and copy the array all the way to cube 001 or cube one. In this case, you would notice that we have this going on. So at any point in time, you would like to make changes. You want to affect some stuff. Yes, you can. You can do all of these things independently. And it just totally makes a lot of sense that something like this is now available in Blender. Now, within the time that you'll be playing with this, there are also some stuff that you'd also need to know. So if I simply select this object right here, hold down Shift and D, make a duplicate, make another duplicate and something like that, select all of this, right click and store them in a new container. Storing them in a new container is something that we are not new to, but then you being able to now select right click and assign colors is pretty neat so at any point in time you want to make copies like for example we want to put suzanne and also the cube and maybe the first cube all in one container we can do that we put all of them in one collection and simply select right click and assign colors so with all of this said let's go ahead and get a brand new scene let me show you guys something else that you can do is we can make copies of this stuff and while we make copies of this, we can simply press the tab key to jump into the edit mode. But what is new is you can now go over to your outliner and you can simply select multiple objects for persons that would like to work on multiple models at the same time. So for this example, let's say we switch over to the faces and we just want to get one, two, three and four. And let's press I on the keyboard and you notice we're editing all of them at the same time. So I can press E on the keyboard press I on the keyboard one more time just to get things going and let's just do this right here. So these are some very nice improvements that are coming over to Blender 2.91 and it's very interesting to see that within the outliner we are having such massive updates. Something else that is also making sense which is worthy of uh, an honorable mention which we're going to talk about on the channel pretty soon is the soft body simulation so soft body simulation is also one of the projects that is being done within the session of the google summer of code for 2020 and of course if you want to try this i'm going to put links in the description where you can get these things and go ahead and try them and while speaking about things that you can try out and you know for those who would be wondering when is blender going to be released the guys from blender foundation has now created a preliminary blender 2.91 schedule and workboard so the schedule and workboard has the beacon one two three four and five and beacon four will be the pre-release which will be happening during november the 18th and then the final release will be coming within the 24th of november 2020. so with this said let's take a look at some brand new features that are now available in blender 2.91 that came over within the week and this week we're looking at a couple of things like the cloth brush the pose and boundary brush you know the brand new features that are now coming to blender Blender 2.91 are actually piling up. But one of the cool things that we can now see here is that with Blender 2.91, last week we already talked about this, that you all, you know, you have the multi-res and all of that sculpting updates coming over to Blender, but there are still more sculpting updates that you need to see. So let's simply go through and test a couple of them. I'm going to delete the default cube, 
and go down shift and a bring out this tiny grid scale this grid all the way up and switch over to sculpting now once we switch over to sculpting there's a couple of things you would notice one of the first things you would notice is we're going to start off with the obvious ones one of the things you would notice is we have a cloth filter icon right here so if you click right here now you notice you have a cloth filter icon and you know there is some of those updates that we've talked about last week you can go ahead and play with that but before we talk about the updates for the mesh filter the boundary tool now has a very nice update so last week when we talked about this we said once you have your object you know selected and you already have the brush you can use this boundary brush to do some pretty cool stuff like that all right so we did talk about you being able to use the boundary brush to replicate and create some pretty cool stuff like this and of course we talked about uh how you can make some changes right here but then there are some very nice changes that you can also work with so within the deformation pablo has added a brand new deformation target type which is now known as cloth simulation so a huge point i think this is being inspired by the transpose cloth brush that exists in zebras so how you can work with this is very very simple so let's say you have set this to the cloth simulation you can now click and you can have your simulation happening right here you can set this to bend you can set this to twist you can set it to inflate however you choose you can simply set all of these things and automatically you will notice we're having that cloth deformation let's simply back up a bit go over to our modifiers and then let's add up our multi-res modifier for this i'll simply punch this one all the way up so let's subdivide 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 this by three jump all the way back right click make sure we have the smooth shaded jump all the way back and now if we start playing with this of course you can start noticing that clothes feeling that it has so let's say we want to get this to bend of course you can get the bending stuff and you notice you have that clothes feeling happening here the brush is still within its beta something else that pablo has also teased which is supposed to be coming to blender 2.91 for the cloth brush is the snake hook feature for the deformation that you can now use this will produce more natural looking folds it is also way more controllable than most of the other deformation types that already exist now if you also want to play with the previous versions you can also you know simply grab blender and then you can go through and play with these ones that exist right here of course you can play with the deformations that you have right here now speaking about things that you can also play with we've already talked about the multi-res modifier and we also talked about how you can use the multi-res displacement eraser to erase some of these displacements that you have here but then if you also go over to where we have the mesh filter you would notice that we also have some pretty cool stuff here so last week we talked about sharpen right now we have the enhanced detail and also erase displacement so if you select the enhanced detail for example you can use this to enhance the detail of your model so just in case you want to enhance the detail you want to be a bit more sharpened you can use that you can also go through and select the erase displacement and you can erase or ease out the displacement so depending on how you move your brush or depending on how you move your cursor this is going to update and also apply something else that i noticed that a lot of people don't really really use that much is the sphere filter type that is available with the mesh filter so you can obviously use this one and create some very interesting looking effects then you can go through maybe pick up the relaxed brush or you know pick up the smooth brush and smoothen things out so these are some of the updates that are now available with blender 2.91 within the sculpting section so in case you're feeling excited about any of these things you can go through and you know take a look in the description download these tools and start working with them so with all of these beautiful things out of the way let's talk about the guys from blender cloud so the guys at blender cloud within the grease pencil they have released a huge set of grease pencil brushes so we already talked about the free pencil brushes that you can get but it's very interesting to see that they are actually releasing more daniel martinez lara has actually published this within his twitter and it just simply makes a lot of sense so in case you're working with grease pencil and you're looking for some very nice you know grease pencil samples brushes things like that you can simply come over here and download all of these things there are a whole lot of them that you can take a look at and these things are just so many and it's very cool to see that they are all set to free now while talking about things that are set to free you may also want to see or you know take a look at this complimentary news that is coming from the guys at facebook 
Of course, this doesn't really affect Blender that much, but owing to the fact that Blender is working with VR, and I do know that most people do own an Oculus, right now the guys at Facebook are saying that for you to work with Oculus, you probably need to unlock your social media feature by logging in via Facebook. And logging in via Facebook simply means that starting from October 2020, if you're working with an Oculus, whether you're working with the Rift or any of them, you would need to sign into your Oculus account and then merge your Oculus account with your Facebook account. Now, this is going to be met with several reactions. You know, some people would like it, some people wouldn't. But then there is also some sort of punishment coming from Facebook about this one. So if you're not going to do this or let's say you just want to work with oculus from now all the way to whenever you choose not to the guys at facebook are saying that you'll be having two years to actually get this thing up and running so come first of january 2023 if you're not logged into facebook if you're not merging facebook with your oculus account there will be no support for you at that point and right here if you simply scroll down they say starting from january 2023 we will end support for Oculus account. So I think Facebook is trying to create this one account thingy where you know you log into Facebook to get your Instagram, your Oculus, your WhatsApp, your you know all of those tools that they've created and all of those social media outlets. For sure, a lot of people will and will not actually buy into this opinion or this option. But then there is the HTC and also there is the Valve Index. All of these things are VR headsets that you can actually lay your hands on if you haven't gotten an Oculus yet. And before we go, let's simply talk about the jobs, jobs, jobs. The jobs are still available right here. Open positions for Blender Foundation. So in case you want to work as a senior backend developer, writer, editor, blogger, developer, community coordinator, you can sign in. So if you're looking forward to join the Blender Foundation and you have a portfolio that kind of speaks about these things, yep, you can actually go in and apply for these jobs. So this is definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Of course, there are a couple of things and features that are definitely coming over to Blender 2.91 that are not available within the present build that we have right now. So if you want to test out some of them, simply go over to the link in the description where you can check this out. And of course, if you're also excited about some of the features and you want us to do a much more in-depth you know video about it and just like we've talked about that we're going to talk about the soft body simulation please put that in the comment section and we will do our best to get this one going so i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday Tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.